Alright, working on the old uh, 1930 Briggs FH, Model FH here, and uh, I, I uh, had this sitting in some uh, transmission fluid and stuff for uh, a couple days and everything, I wiped it off, and uh, I'm trying to loosen stuff up here because there's a, there's a bolt right here, and that snapped off, so hopefully we can drill that out, I, I'm, not, I'm not hopeful, but... Uh, We'll get that out. Where you at here? Here we go. And then uh, this is probably stuck. And uh, I got some movement out of that pin, so uh, that should be good. Cause this thing, this thing is really, really wore out. It's got a hole here that you're supposed to oil, but anytime you leave that kind of stuff up to a human, it's not going to happen if it don't oil itself. So, all right. And then uh, maybe we can take this uh, valve out. This one here, I don't want to take out. So, uh, I'd start off with, uh, I got this here. I think it's called a, a machinist bench block or something. They're good to have. So, what I'm going to do is uh, try and hold this up. <coughs> Excuse me. And put it in a hole there. You see it? I need to have something to hold it so I can uh, put a drift pin on there. So, let me see if I can find something lock up the bottom or do something. Alright, let me shut you off for a second. Alright, yeah, I was able to get a, a little vise, a little machinist vise I guess they're called, and uh, see the way it's uh, sitting up like that. It's nice to have a third hand. Like I was saying, these uh, these little uh, machinist bench vices are nice to have, and they're cheap too, they're only like uh, 20 bucks or something. I mean they're more expensive ones, you know, you get a brand name like Starrett, but uh, if I remember, I'll stick a, a link in the description there for you. Good to have for this kind of stuff, you know, for uh, sending uh, pins through the holes. Uh, it's got the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It's got like ten holes, and then it's got a, a V block here in case you want to uh, put holes through it, drill holes through it, stuff like that. It's pretty good. But anyway, I digress. All right, there you go. All right, let's see what we got here. I don't know which one to try here. Let me try the big one first. Okay, yeah, we're getting movement there. Getting movement. Are you in view? Oh, boy. It's almost out. We almost got it. Okay, hey. lucked out on that. You can unhook yous here. Ugh. All right. Yeah, to get this out, I don't. I don't want to heat this because this this valve here is peened on the top, and uh, I don't want to put any heat in there because uh, you mess your spring up there, then you're then you got yourself a job. All right, let me clean this up and look it over and see what's going on here. All right, yeah, clean this up a little bit and uh, you can get a chance to look at it here. All right, the pin itself is uh, actually wore out too. I don't know if you can see it's got, got a big notch taken out of it. And this sort of has a, an egg-shaped hole. This side here. It's easier to see on this side here than the other side. But uh, there was quite a bit of play. All right. The easy way to do it is uh, not even bush it, just uh, oversize that because I got plenty of meat there, and then put a bigger pin in. But then over here, I don't know if we're gonna have enough room. That the hole that they drilled there is way off center, and uh, put a bigger pin in there, you might not have too much meat. But then it, that doesn't really hold any weight. So I think maybe I'd, I'd try that oversized pin, and then. Uh, if it was too big, then maybe I'd just uh, plug weld that and, and put that hole in the center. I don't think they put that off center for a reason. I think that's just the way they made these things back then, you know. Slap them together. All right. I think what I'm going to do now is uh, I'm going to put this in a vise and uh, try and get them keepers out of there and get this 
valve out of the way. What I'm going to do with that is uh, I'll uh, get this because there's little keepers in there, and you got to push down on that washer, and then uh, them keepers should come out. Right now they're they're jammed in there, so we'll see what we can do with that. All right, yeah, I got me a thick washer here, and uh, put it up against there, right up against the valve, and. Uh, So just by pushing down on that spring, the spring should go down and you should be able to pull the keepers out, but it's not happening. You know, I, uh, I leaned on it pretty good. I even uh, tried to persuade it a little bit with the hammer, you know, not too much, but uh, it's not going anywhere. So uh, I'll stick it in the vise and uh, we'll try it. And if, and if we don't get no movement, then we'll leave it. It's, it's really no big deal. All right, we got you all set up here. And this, this barely is... Uh, Holding there, so I gotta hold this and then try and turn this handle. So bear with me. All right, get a little tension on it. All right, all right, I just felt something. Huh. All right, I'll take it out. Felt like it popped. I don't know if you guys heard that. Oh, yeah, look at that. Just a little bit of uh, leverage. Where you at? Turn you this way. See the way? See the way it's supposed to move? Now there's keepers there, and uh, I'm gonna look at them. I don't know. I don't know if I'm, I'm gonna take them out or not. You see how bad they are. Oh, oh, my thumb is stuck. Look, my thumb is stuck in there. All right, let's go up to the table. All right. Yeah, I don't know how well you guys are gonna be able to see this, but uh, I'm gonna have to put my hands where I put them. I usually try to keep them out of your way. Wrench, just wrench will hold this down. I'll try to get a screwdriver in this. There's a little slit here. Oh, okay. Whoa, okay. There we go. There's one side. Figures. The other side is stuck. Alright. Let me dick around with that. And uh, try and get that out. Hmm. Okay. But anyway, here's the one, uh, the one side to keep her here. Looks to be in pretty good shape too. So. All right. Let me see if I get the other side out without breaking it. I'm gonna shut these down. You guys go take a break or something. All right. Yeah. I was trying to hold that down and work at the same time. And I said, let me see that old. If the Briggs, this is a modern Briggs uh, valve spring compressor. And uh, it's funny, if it wasn't for that exhaust hole, you know, I wouldn't be able to get it, I wouldn't have been able to done that. I was able to stick it in the exhaust and uh, hold that spring down. So I got it out, I had to get two screwdrivers, you know, one on each side of it, one holding it like this, and then one over here, and then hit it. It just wouldn't, you know, it was, it was almost like glued on there, but uh, lucky we didn't break anything, so... Hmm. Must be a lot of carbon there or something. We'll see. We'll see what's holding it. Okay, but meanwhile, I can take this out of here. Get the spring out of the way. Hey, you never know what tools you're going to need. I guess I could turn around so you guys will see what I'm doing, huh? Hold your keepers in, and there, and there's your valve spring, your exhaust spring. Okay, yeah, this is pretty loose, so I don't, I don't know what's uh, actually holding it in. I see what's holding it. It's the, the top here. It's peeing just a little bit, and there's probably carbon in there, so I'm not going to. Uh, I don't think. Maybe I will. I'll file that just a little bit if I can't get it out. I'm gonna try my best to. Yeah, it's coming out. It's coming out. There we go. There we go. Nothing's ever easy. I think it was just carbon in there holding that in. All right. Well, that's good. That's good. So uh, we can clean that up. What if that was in good shape? No pitting, no anything on there. All right. 
Yeah, I had to turn the air on. If you hear a little noise in the background, that's the air conditioner. It's like 95 degrees out there, and it was getting about 80 in here, so we had to put it on. All right, let's continue on. All right, yeah, that cleaned up good. I'll try and speak up so you can hear me, because I got I got a little fan going here and uh, the air conditioner, but uh, we'll try and speak up and look at the camera. All right, yeah, this cleaned up good. I mean, it's uh, really aren't any pits worth talking about for. For 90 years old, that thing's in excellent shape. And this, the shaft was pitted a little bit and everything, but uh, yeah, just by wire wheeling that, wire wheel this and stuff, uh, everything loosened up goes right in. But uh, it is loose in here, and if you're going to use this engine, you know, as a as a workhorse, you know, then you'd want to sleeve that or uh, put a bigger valve in, oversize that, the bigger valve in, but. I don't know if you can see this. I'm going to try and get close. There we go. But right here, that's that's just about on the edge there. You're not going to you're not going to sleeve that or bush it because you got but a centimeter there. You could cut this off and uh, put a big bushing in, but then if you look down on the bottom here, I don't know if you can see that. There we go. But that that's way off center there and you push that and you know, you're creating problems for yourself. That's just the way the thing was cast, you know? So, uh, being this is just a show engine, and it's only going to run maybe a half hour, an hour in a show, then uh, I say we leave it, you know? It'll, it'll run just fine, you know? After all, it's just a show engine. People want to look at it and say, oh, cool, 100-year-old engine, it's running. So that's, uh, that's what we're going to do. We're just going to leave it. We probably ran like that before. So it'll run like that again. So, Alright, let's see what else. I guess the next thing we'll do is uh, we'll try and drill this hole out. You know, looking at it, I might be able to get some heat on it from over here without affecting this other spring. You know, get a little heat on it from there and maybe get a little heat on it from there. And we're still far enough away from that spring that it won't bother it. So we might do that. But first, first we've got to... Uh, Grind that down, center punch it, and drill that out. And uh, I don't have such high hopes. See now, something like that, there's enough room there where I could drill that whole thing out and and put the next size bolt in. So, uh, all right, let's see what we can do. All right, test one, two. All right, we mic'd our ups or self up here so uh, you guys could hear me. Because I got a fan going here, got the air conditioner on, and I got another fan going in the back there. So let me see if it's working here. All right, I'm about 25 foot away. Can you still hear me? I can't hear you. All right, let me check this out. All right, everything seems to be working. Uh, all right, we said we try and get this uh, this bolt out here. Let's grind that off. Should be good enough for a center punch. Let me get the center punch. Alright. Yeah, it's tough to see exactly where the center is because this this here is actually the bolt, but there's thread missing there, so this doesn't have to be as this isn't as critical as the head where the cylinder was. But you want to get it as close to center as possible. Alright. I'm gonna go with that. Oh, you know what? I don't have this tightened all the way down. That's why I wasn't making it go to a hole. Alright, good enough. 
right, we'll see you over at the drill press. All right. Yeah, I think I got it pretty close here. I tried to make it as uh, level as possible. You know, like I say, this isn't that critical, but you want it to be as close as possible. You know what? Let me plug this in. Uh oh, hold on. I bet you that's Mike. All right, sorry about that. Yeah, that was our buddy Mike. He's on his way over, so that'll be interesting. Looks good enough. Looks good to me. I got this tape on here because I don't want to go. I, it's okay if I go and touch that, make a little divot in this piece down here because I could always, if I do get that out, I could turn that around. So, all right, let's do it. I'm not, I'm not wheeling it up or nothing like that. Yeah, we're going to do this dry. Yeah, that must have slid off. That's not even close to being centered, but uh, we'll be okay. If I have to, I got plenty of room there to uh, oversize that. You know, usually when I put a center punch in there, I'll hit it with a file because sometimes when you hit them, uh, you know, that thing there or that little hole, sometimes it, it you know, it, it throws your uh, your drill off, and I think that's what happened in this case. But uh, it looks pretty good, so uh, ah, let's we'll see what we can do with it. All right, Mike showed up in a uh, little dirt bike, and uh, they're gonna fix this for me. Mike looked at that hole, he said, what the hell happened here? Oh, man. <laughs> we'll take care of it, though. We're going to try at least. Yeah. Yeah, I think we're going to try the number three square extractor after we put a little bit of heat on it and uh, see if that gets you where you need to be. Hmm. You had it soaking for a while, right? Uh, yeah, real good. As a matter of fact, that might even be full. You might light that whole thing on fire. I don't yeah. know if I emptied that out. Oh, boy. Yeah. Well, it's all right. No worries. Try to get any heat in here, that spring, Mike. See the way it's it's uh, flaring down here? Yeah, I see it, but... Uh, Not much you can do about it. Well, yeah, and you're going to get that spring pretty hot if you're going to mess the temp around. Hmm. I want to see if I can see anything bubbling up around the threads. All right, I'm going to shut this down so we don't waste film. Well, we're about to try. Oh, are we? Yeah, I mean, like I could see the cast. You see it starting to change color where you ground it. Uh -huh. We're already kind of getting that transition there. Hmm. So. Actually, that heat, that heat should help that other piece, too. Yeah, it's pretty well, it's pretty well heat soaked now. Hmm. So yeah, I had it all the time with the head, Mike. Did you? Yeah. I wouldn't have any luck at all. I wound up uh, retapping the whole thing. Good, I got it. That's what, that's what you're supposed to be here for. Oh, man. Hope you have better luck than I did, man. Anything moving? Well, something's moving. Uh, I think we're just... You're just moving well, out. Well, yeah, we're... we're they see it's really close, like like you said, you can see we can you can see the threads. Yeah. Yeah, and we might have to re redrill that one too. Yeah, let me try we'll to see. send it in a little bit 
a little bit deeper. It's biting. I don't want to snap the, yeah, yeah. the extractor. Though. I told him on the other time, you, you, you snap that, then you got problems. You got real problems. Yeah, hmm. yeah for some reason, that's a, that stuff is stuck in there pretty good. Well, I wonder if, since we're already into the threads, hmm. I wonder if we could just take a small punch and, and kind of I collapse did that. it. Yeah, okay. Let Thanks. me get a chisel. I did that with the other one, too. Yeah, okay. Yeah, it, was, it wasn't collapsing, nobody. No. But uh, we got to try something. Yeah, we do. All right, we'll get back to you guys. All right, I got it on. Mike said he, he thinks he has some movement. Look at him. Look at him. This guy never lets me down. Everybody thinks I'm goof. Nah. And I come in. Nobody thinks you're goof. I come buddy. in here. Look at that. I, I was. I got it loose. I loosened it for you. Yeah. <laughs> how about oh, that? Oh man, how about that? Is right. Wow. How much did I dig into the? Well, you, can you? Can, well, can you see it right there? I mean, you dug in a little bit, I but yeah, I touched the threads. But we're, we're gonna run a tap in there, and it's gonna be perfect. Yeah, I mean, how much? How much of the? Ah. the pin there. We gotta get that out too, Mike. Oh uh, yeah. You ain't done yet, buddy. No. <laughs> All right. We'll work on that next. Look at that. It never lets me down. <laughs> like a, like an old pair of shoes. <laughs> That's right. We're we'll gonna bring the heat back in for this. Huh. Oh, why don't you put a wrench on there? Just see if that works, cause. I swear when you screwed it, when you when you squared it in the middle there, it came out the side. Oh yeah. But I think that's probably my uh, wishful thinking. Well, I, I really I don't want to go too crazy because that's just I guess peeing yeah. on there. Yeah, so yeah. I just want to see if it'll if it'll wiggle around a little bit. Yeah, it's moving. Well, is it moving on the pin or is the pin itself moving? That's the thing. You know, is the yeah. yoke moving on the pin? I, I can't, can't see I can't it. Tell. In my way. I think it's the yoke moving on the pin right now. Oh uh, yeah, that's not good. No. Well, even if it did bust off, you know, then then we just weld it back on. But yeah. Then you have nothing. To... I think I'm gonna bring the heat back in. All right, good deal. And uh, let's get some of this extra excess fluid out of here. All right. All right, Mike's heating it up, and then he's gonna shock it with a hammer, and then then try to get some movement out of it. That's the arrow coil that's on fire. That's all. This is a big hammer right there, Mike. No, I don't want to use a big hammer. Okay. Let's see. But do I have... I'll just use this right in the center there. To... Hmm. No. Maybe no. clean that up and, well, and weld that. Weld that even better, Mike. Yeah, it could be because right now that that yoke is just more just loose now. Just peened on it, yeah. yeah. And then even the, maybe the heat from the welding on there might help it. Mm hmm. Hmm. Why do I have to take this out? So you can adjust the valves. Oh right, that's right. So we got to move it up and down. Right. Hmm. Yeah, and we don't want to booger it up anymore by putting a pair of vice grips on that. No. Yeah. No. Hmm. I guess if we had to, uh, if that did come off, this piece here came off, and we did bugger that up, we'd just put a whole new piece in. Oops, sorry about that. Yeah, it'd be nice to not have to do that. Yeah, though. yeah. I hate, I hate making work for myself. Mm hmm.
I wonder if filling that hole up with the aerocoil and letting it sit for overnight and stuff would do anything. Uh, it might, because uh, this is this is staying wet right here. Mm -hmm. You see that? So yeah. whatever is going on, it's working its way out. So hmm. there's definitely a gap in there. I think we just need to we need to exploit that with something. Do you have a larger pin that I could like a drift pin that I could put right on this surface? Yeah. And okay. I want to tap right on that surface here, right on that shaft, and see if I can. Right. Send some vibration through. All right, we're gonna clean it up. Right now, that's only that's only peened over, right, Mike? Or is that welded? No, it's just peened. Yeah. Literally, just just stuck on there and peened. Huh. Let's see it. Interesting. So, so yeah, we're, we're gonna weld that. That way, uh, we can put some uh, pressure on that thing. That should be good there, buddy. Yeah. We're not going to space. Yeah, hopefully it uh, <laughs> hopefully it's stuck. I was I was having a hard time because I can't really get the Yeah, you can't go in between close. there, I know. Right. Yeah, yeah. Oh well. It's better than it was, I'll tell you that. Probably. Yeah. Alright. Continue on. Alright, what does it look like, buddy? Like it's moving. Huh? Yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah. Look at that. That's it. You just needed a uh, something stable that you weren't going to rip off. Oh, that's good. There's a pair of pliers there if you want to grab it, Mike. Mm -hmm. They're Chinese, but it'll do that. It'll do that job. Oh yeah, it's actually going in. Wow. Oh wow. I put a little bit of extra croil in there too. Did you? So yeah. Look at that. Yeah, look at that. Now, now when I clean that up on the wire wheel, it's gonna be too loose. Ha! Yeah. Oh man, that's a that's a that's a big leap. It is. It is. I didn't I, did, I didn't want any more work. The threads are really fine there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, ah, cool. Good work, buddy. Big leap. There you go. There you go, tubes. That's why I keep Mike around. Ah. All right. Thanks, buddy. Mm -hmm. All right. You Mike and a little dirt bike left. Well, dirt bike had to go practice. He's a musician, and uh, Mike left because he uh, he gets up early. But uh, uh, I'm glad he decided to to take over here because I didn't feel like wrestling this thing, especially after wrestling this one. But uh, I I, I would have ripped the top off of this for sure, you know, because I know he's a better welder, and I wouldn't even try welding it. So, all right. Yeah, it's funny how. Uh, it was just perfect timing, you know, he, he planned on coming over and looking at something else and this was all ready to go. So I'm glad he enjoys working on this stuff. So uh, this video is probably getting pretty long. And uh, now we can uh, start putting things together. Clean it up, paint it, and start putting things together. So, all right. I guess we'll see you guys in the next one.